Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers. Our two star players are John Green and John Green, but sadly, John Green, nay Bennett, is still injured, but he is well enough that he can play in the second half. So he is mostly recovered. He will be on in the second half. In the first half, we will have Dean McGoldrick, uh, hopefully ably assisting bald John Green. Hayden Pennyfeather is our referee, and today, who have we brought to the county ground at Swindon? Arsenal. Arsenal, famed football club, one of the great storied traditional football clubs in English history. Uh, and what are they famous for? Well, primarily for losing to the actual Swindon in the finals of this very competition, the English League Cup. Actually, this isn't the English League Cup. It's the Premier League, but whatever. They lost. They lost. One time, they did lose to, uh, to Swindon in the finals of the English League Cup. It was the greatest moment in the history of Swindon. And uh, I reminded the boys about it today. I mean, of course they know about it. These boys know their history. But I reminded the boys about it today as we were in the tunnel right before the game. I said, um, you know, this club has beaten Arsenal before, and there's no reason that we can't do it again. But let's face it, um, given our goals for the season, a nil-nil. What? 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 McGoldrick? It's a goal from McGoldrick! It's a goal! It's a goal in the sixth minute! From It's his first goal of the season! I don't even have a song about him! McGoldrick with a fantastic finish! As Cesc Fabregas tried to bring him down from behind! Oh, what a finish! McGoldrick! Goal. Okay. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's about the best start you could hope for. Great pass, by the way, from Bald John Green, who, who really saw that run uh, just as it was developing. Um, wow. Yikes. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to be friends with someone after you break up with them. Um, I've talked in the past about how I'm generally suspicious of, of wanting to be friends with someone after you break up with them. Um, but uh, I do have some experience in this field, and I'm older than most of you. So you have to listen to me, even if I'm wrong. Because you'll be like, oh, he's a wise man, because he's got wrinkles and gray hair around his temples. It's going to kill my YouTube career! Oh, it's tied. Program Van Percy. Van Percy. Uh, should have gone into defensive mode, but I just... Oh, it's frustrating. Feeling angry with myself. But I don't like to go into a shell just, you know, just because it's Arsenal. I want to play Swoodly Pooper football. I feel like it's my, my sacred duty to the boys. Try to give them the best opportunity they can to be winners. Look at McGoldrick. He's just... He's relentless. And Ball John Green got on the floor for no reason. It's that, that's a sign of frustration. We need to recover quickly. We are still the Swoodly Poopers. Everything's going to be okay. We just need to... What? What is happening? All right, that, that was fine. So here's the thing. If you've been in a, like, a really long-term relationship and you were in love and you talked to each other every day for you know a year or two years or however long it was, it's totally unreasonable to expect that you're going to wake up the day after ending that romantic relationship and, like, be friends in this suddenly de-romanticized, de-sexualized relationship in which the person that until yesterday you were dating can suddenly, like, have relationships with other people and have other best friends and all. Look, it's just not realistic. And don't be mad at yourself because it's not happening. Just understand that, that it's going to take time. Um, I think that's the biggest issue. Like, and also, when romantic relationships end, it's usually for complicated reasons. Oh, that was going to be a perfect, perfect cross. Uh, it's usually for complicated reasons, some of which are not not romantic. So, like, there there's going to be, you know, some problems in that in that relationship aside from just the, you know, whatever whatever ended the romantic part of the relationship. So, like. The first thing that I would say is you've just got to be patient with yourself and, like, understand that, you know, it's not, it's not going to happen overnight. And I think, like, because when you're in the middle of something, it feels like it's never going to end and time slows down and it feels like it's taking forever. Um, it can be really hard to, like, reconcile yourself to, to waiting. Um, but that is essentially, I think, the key is waiting um, and just being being kind of like generous with yourself and patient and knowing that like it's you know go great ball great ball great ball but he can't finish oh re i mean ball john green has had a fantastic fantastic first half there's no other way to put it and then vice vice going up the line he's doing the vice vice thing no 
I liked that ball in. I thought it was nice and aggressive. That's got to be a foul. Oh, it was a foul on me? Disagree. Respectful disagreement. Would have liked to, would have liked to see McGoldrick finish there, I got to say, but he's had a good game. I mean, the guy's got a goal. You know, hard to, hard to fault him for it, but boy, I mean, that was a big opportunity for us. Really big opportunity. Who's hurt? Who's hurt? Jeez, another injury. Oh, oh no, it's twice as vice. Oh, I don't really have anybody who can step in for him except for the red power granger. Oh, that's frustrating. It's frustrating. Of course, Leroy Williamson could go in that spot. Let's see. John Green's tired. Hmm. I think I'm going to make him suffer through. That's frustrating. I just, he's, you can tell. Look how hurt he is. Look at him. He's, you know what? He's hurt, but he's still, he's really trying. But, you know, he probably would have had a breakaway there. That was a really late foul. I apologize to Arsenal. That was not good work by me. But I'm, I'm frustrated because you just took away one of my best players. What? Is Ball John Green in? Oh! Dispossessed at the last second. That's frustrating. Oh. I'm going to make the other change, too. I'm going to bring in. I mean, you got to say McGoldrick's had a great game. And, Ball jo and, and John Green is exhausted, so I'm actually going to make the strange choice of leaving McGoldrick in and taking out an exhausted Ball John Green. Uh, D. Fox is also very tired. Um, I think I might put in Ginger Rampage in his place. Although, Ginger Rampage, he's been having some anger problems recently, and I don't want to see him getting... I, don't, I just don't want to see him hurting the club, you know? Because sometimes... Uh, I think I'll put Wellington out there. I... No, no, I rethought that. I rethought that. That That's a bad idea. This is a better idea. Okay. So anyway, I've now made all three of my substitutions here at the end of the first half, um, which always bodes well for the second half. But I don't know. You know, we've got, we're going to have, uh, well, you know, the fact is you can't say that McGoldrick hasn't played well. Um, I mean, he had a great finish there. He could have laid it off to ball John Green, but he, he, he didn't. So here we are. It's 1-1 at halftime. Um, now I'm going to tell you in t the second half, I've told you my thoughts on being on the first, uh, if you've had a long-term relationship, that it takes a long time to reestablish a friendship and that you should be patient with it. And, um, and it's going to be perfectly possible that in that period, one of the people is going to need quite a lot of time, like, not talking to you. And you've got to be okay with that. Like, that's okay. You know? I mean, it, it can come back. Life is long. Just remember that, that, that the moment feels like it's the only moment that will... Wow, that was some great work by Arsenal. It may feel right now like it's the only moment that will ever happen, the only chance you'll ever have, yada, 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 but you don't really know that. you got to be patient with yourself. Um, and you got to be patient with the people you care about. What a turn! It's not even fair how much better they are. Yikes. Okay. And then other John Green, he's out there on the pitch. He doesn't look... That, that's got to be a foul. He held me up. That's Actually, that's a second yellow, in my opinion. All right. Let's see how this works. Never works. Never works. A bicycle kick. Why is Arsenal so good with bicycle kicks and stuff? That doesn't seem fair. I can't do bicycle kicks. Probably could if I knew the right buttons, but I don't. All right, Ricardo Bunsen Berna. A nice save. Yep, get the outlet pass to one size fits all. So now let me talk about if it's just a casual thing. And, you know, maybe you asked someone out and they said no and they, they aren't romantically interested in you. How do you make that not awkward in your friendship moving forward? Well, let me submit that it is actually really easy. What you do is you just don't treat it like it's awkward. And part of that is, like, not bringing it up all the time and being like, hey, I remember that time I asked you out and you said no. That was so awkward, right? Wasn't that awkward? Don't do that. That's, a, that's as bad as that cross was. Maybe I need to go to a 4-3-3. No, no, no. I just, I just consulted my heart, and my, my heart said 4-2-1-2-1-2. Uh, two, one, two, one, two. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, that one. That's what we need. And is the squad s designed for that? Do we have French? Li 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 yep, we do. Yep, I like everything about that. Oh, wait, except somebody's a 52. 52 is low. We gotta get, we gotta get, 
We got to maybe switch Fahey. There we go. That's a significant improvement. All right. Okay. We can win this game still, guys. Um, we can win this game. Oh, McGoldrick almost got to that ball. So uh, just don't make it awkward because the truth is if, you, if you're the person who did the asking, the person who you asked is going to pick up on all of your awkward vibes, right? I mean, she or he is going to feel very uh, sensitive to whether you feel awkward. And if you just choose not to feel awkward, then it won't be so bad. Um, and I know that it's really hard to make that choice to not feel awkward, and I don't, I don't want to take anything away from the difficulty of that or the complexity of it or whatever, but, like, it is possible. Um, just treat them like a normal person, like you normally would. Um, and whatever was good about your friendship can be restored, I mean, maybe not immediately, but definitely pretty quickly. And I've seen this happen in my own life. I have to say, I have not seen a lot of, like, me becoming friends with my ex-girlfriends, like, long-term ex-girlfriends in my own life. Thank you, that is a second yellow. Isn't that... Oh, it's a first yellow? Well, that's disappointing. It's Pepe, by the way. Fancy that. Pepe. Get in! Goal! All you had to do was put the ball on goal. 75th minute. Still scoreless. But you know what? You've got to say a nil-nil draw would be a victory against Arsenal. I mean, this is one of the best teams in the world. Of course, we've got them at home. We want to beat them. We want to defend our home ground as best we can. And, and we'd love to win. Um, and in fact, I will get, you know, in the last 10 minutes of the game, I will move to aggressive to try to get the victory. I'm not, I'm not here... Uh, whoosh, I'm not here to lose and I'm not here to draw I'm here to win uh, so I am going to get more aggressive but it's pretty great to have Arsenal 1-1 at home um, you know they're feeling oh, really really that seemed like the place to pass to you when you were doing your consult passing consultation um, so I I, I uh, Okay, so there's a third kind of relationship that I will talk about uh, briefly, which is where the relationship that I had with Sarah um, right before we uh, really started dating and then eventually got married, which is that you like the person um, and uh, you, you genuinely like them, and, but for a bunch of reasons, it's just not working out at the time. Um, in this situation, it makes a... Oh, you just have to put her to the goal! The gold rick. McGoldrick, what an opportunity. All you had to do was put the ball on net. Oh. In that situation, it makes sense uh, to stay friends, partly because you're circling. Uh, you still have some level of romantic interest in each other. And um, you're like the vulture that circles waiting for the right moment to, uh, to come in and, uh, you know, take your prey. Uh, that seems like, uh, that, that came out a little stronger than I wanted it to. Um, but yeah, I mean, in that situation, I think it makes great sense to stay friends. Um, and there's absolutely no reason why you can't, because if you really like someone, I remember this with Sarah, like, I, I, mostly, ah, oh, oh, so close to ecstasy. Mostly, I just really liked Sarah, and I liked hanging out with her, and she was incredibly smart, and I wanted to keep talking to her. And that was, that was the central motivation for our, our friendship. And I, I, I really believe that, like, that, regardless of gender and sexual attraction and everything else, like, shouldn't that be the foundation of, of human friendships? Is this... <gasps> off the post! Is this shared belief, um, the shared interest in each other, and, and uh, you know, like, shared desire to talk about interesting stuff with interesting people?! Oh, God, preserving the 1-1 draw with the last kick of the game just barely. Could have been better, but you know what? The guys are happy, and so am I. The Swinnertown Swoodley Poopers supporters are cheering their Swoodley Poopers. You can't say it was a bad game. We weren't at full health. It's a 1-1 draw. Arsenal, we will see you later in the season, and we will beat you. Best wishes.